Hi gang, we're back. We're going to be doing um, some of the British line troops for my Warlord Games Black Powder. And uh, we got a five figure sprue I'm going to do up here real quick for you to see how I do it. First off, I'm going to do a clip. We're going to go in, we're going to clip everything off. Industrial style, we're just going to clip, clip, clip. We're going to get everybody off the sprue. Assembly line. That's the term I was looking for. And uh, today's build is brought to you by Dirty Bastard. Clip off some screws here. Clip them up. So you got ten lined up already. Attach the caps. Save those caps, guys. Power aid, gator aid. Whatever it is you like to drink. Juice. A lot of the juice uh, juice bottles have a similar type cap. I'm starting to really build up a nice collection of them. I'm going to need it. This uh, this last batch is the last batch of <coughs> troops in my uh, Waterloo kit, which I highly recommend. If you guys are getting onto this channel and you're wanting to do Napoleonics, um, the Waterloo starter kit is a great little kit. Um, I also like on... Uh, Warlord Games website, they also have a, a create an army option, which is really nice. So I would look at that. Now, I would like to point out something. Put those over in my box. Something I'd like to point out, if you are purchasing directly from Warlord Games and you are a U.S. citizen, I can only speak for myself, because I'm a U.S. citizen, um, my bank, when I made that order through my debit card, they basically saw that as a, as a uh, suspicious purchase since it was overseas. So if you're going to make a purchase directly through Warlord Games website, you'd want to call your bank and tell someone there in the card department that uh, you're going to be making the purchase or, or find a local resource like the War Store someone in the US that sells the kit. Now, you notice what I'm doing is I, what I'd like to do for each uh, next batch, as it were, I will take off the the, uh, the tack that uh, uh, I have from the package that I showed you before. Poster tack. And what I do is I like to pull it off. I like to kind of massage it a little bit, get it nice and soft again put it back on so it's nice and sticky pull off another one and kind of show you that's basically how I keep it so that the poster tack is still really sticky and that back on and I will another one. stuff works great And uh, for at least my minis, uh, building my figs, I've switched over to the Tamiya. Thin. Good stuff. Great stuff. It sets quicker, I think, than the super glue. I still use super glue on some of my model kits in certain areas. I still use it for my basing. I use it on my basing. But as far as my model assembly, my stock model assembly, I'm going with that Tamiya. Extra thin cement. You gotta get it guys, good stuff. It's uh, some gap filling properties and it has a uh, ability to actually just get into the nooks and crannies. It basically just melted in. So what I do is I 
as I clean off the little sprue bits, go ahead and cat attach my my fig. Remember to be really careful with these exacto blades, guys. These things are sharp. Now this one's not as sharp. It's not brand new, which is actually kind of what I like. It's not as sharp, but it still gets the job done. Another one. You know, bottom, need a little sprue residue, just so that all the parts go together nice and smooth. Stick him on. And remember guys, Go to my Facebook group. Uh, it's Crazy German War Game Group. And uh, hit a submission. I'll uh, approve you, get you into the group. And that way you can start sharing photos of your projects, upload any videos, and uh, we can start building on this group. We've got a nice little group of guys uh, going right now. We're doing some great sharing on there. And that's what this is all about. So now we're going to go down to the heads, just clean off the sprue residue, one by one, and uh, we'll be ready for our glue. And I'll show you how well that glue sets up. And I really like the applicator brush. And a shout out to Andy's Hobbies. Andy's Hobbies in Arizona, U.S. The guy's got a great channel, check it out. He's got some great model builds, great thing to watch while you're doing your painting and your building. He's also got some great weathering tips, great airbrushing tips. Um, just an all-around great channel, you got to check it out. Andy's Hobby Headquarters. Looking, we're going to be upgrading our camera here. My wife has her own YouTube channel. We also are starting another YouTube channel for traveling, a travel channel. And um, since our kids are going to be in college, we have more spare time to do stuff. Um, we do more traveling, bicycling, and sharing that with everybody. But uh, going with the Canon. Camera will have a a mic, an external mic jack, where we can uh, work on getting some better audio. Okay, ready to get started on our gluing. So, get out our extra thin, we're going with the backpacks. On the back of the backpack, grab one of my minis here, push the two together, and I'm going in on the seam and putting a little bit more glue in it. Literally, just it just works, it goes and sucks right into that seam, and boom, that fast. It helps speed up the build, and it's not nearly as messy and sticky as the. Uh, as super glue is. Again, going in with the head. I kind of look and see how good the fit is. And if the fit seems nice and firm and there's no gap and I need to go in with a little bit more glue, uh, we'll be good. Get our next body going here. Put some glue on the back of the pack. Coming in. Pushing it in. And holding the two together, like so. Yep, I spoke too soon, my tack didn't hold. I'll let you know how long, this. so far this, this uh, poster tack has held up for the entire Waterloo build kit. And it's still got some good stickiness to it, so. And it's been through the paint booth. It has 
been used on multiple sections that I've painted. And um, there's a little bit of a gap in the neck. I'm going with a little bit more glue. Just like that. Boom. Another pack. And then another pack. So don't be afraid, guys, of Napoleonics. I've really enjoyed this build of this kit. Then we're going to be, uh, like I say, I like to bounce between a model kit for a diorama and my my mini uh, builds, so it kind of breaks things up a little bit. Uh, so while I'm doing the 88 kit, we're going to be looking for doing uh, definitely art some uh, artillery. So I'm thinking about doing some Perry. I do want to give Perry some business, Perry Miniatures. I'm going to need to start thinking about buildings. So 28 mil Napoleonic style buildings. Um, and more, you know, train. Um, so yeah. You got that to look forward to. So I tell you, this this hobby is a great hobby, guys. It's just it just never ends with the the projects and the fun stuff you can build, and then also play a game with, uh, with strategic games. So uh, yeah, so I encourage you to get into this hobby. If you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about it. All right, so. And once we've got pretty much everything I want for Napoleonics, I'm going to definitely get the Hail Caesar book and a kick butt Roman Legion army. Complete with the scorpions and all the siege, siege equipment and stuff. That's going to be all ridiculous. So there's a lot of stuff in the future I want to do um, with all the different games that I play. Lots of lots of projects. So there you have it, guys. That's how fast the five. And I'm just doing a sprue at a time. Five, five, five. So I grab another sprue. I'm going to do another sprue, another sprue, and then my, so my last sprue only has one mini. So that means I'll have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six of the standard stock Brits. Um, I'll bring you back for another segment where I will use the airbrush again. I want to show you how nice that Iowata Neo brush works. It is a great airbrush. I've really enjoyed it. The thing I really like the most about the Iwata brush is that it's got a small and a large uh, bowl that screws on and off for the various different size of projects. Like uh, the one I just finished uh, is the uh, T-34 build. Uh, it works really good. So the, the bigger kits, I can use the large bowl. The, the small minis, I tend to use the smaller bowl. And uh, so I'm going to uh, keep plugging forward here, guys. I'm going to build the, the full 26. I've got some of the um, uh, the Germanic Brits, uh, the Hanoverians that I'm going to also build. i got a few of those left. The total build is going to be 36 uh, individual uh, troops. And then... Uh, That'll be it for the Waterloo kit, and we can start looking forward to building off of the more cavalry and more artillery. All right, guys, have a good one.